In this video, we are showing you a combined solution for solving Mission 14, called Audience Delivery, and Mission 15, called Expert Delivery, in this year's FLL Masterpiece Robot Game. In Mission 14, the goal is to deliver the seven audience members, represented by the orange minifigures, to the different target destinations across the field. In Mission 15, the goal is to deliver the experts, represented by the other minifigures with the orange rings, and deliver them to their specific target areas. Teams will ideally combine parts of these missions when solving other missions near the different target areas, but for this video, in this series, we are solely focusing on completing missions 14 and 15. To solve the mission, we use the Spike Prime Advanced Driving Base with the elongated lift arm attachment, both built from the instructions available in the Spike Prime software. In addition, we've built a fork-like attachment with two J-beams and two blue pins on the underside. We simply add this fork attachment onto the lift arm to collect the experts. For delivering three experts along with an audience minifig each, we either use the fork arm by itself or in combination with a simple beam jig. To deliver the remaining experts and audience minifigs, we've built an extendable beam jig that resembles a Y. With our solution, we are showing you another example for combining two or more missions and splitting up the solution into multiple launches to reposition the robot and make attachment changes. We are also showing you that it's acceptable and sometimes beneficial to use jigs that are left on the field at the end of the match. This is allowed for missions where the rulebook doesn't specifically state that no team equipment may touch the mission model at the end of the match. For our solution, we launch our robot from the right launch area with the fork arm attachment and first swoop up Izzy, the skateboarder, from her starting position by the craft creator mission model, and then Emily, the visual effects director, from near the stern of the sailboat and bring both of them to the left home area. There, we realign the robot and launch it with the same attachment to collect Sam, the stage manager from the starting position near the theater, and Noah, the sound engineer from the sound mixer, and bring both of them to the right home area. Back in the right home area, we realign the robot and place Anna, the museum curator, with one audience minifig clinging to the orange ring between the fork. We actually stuck Anna onto the pedestal of the masterpiece model, just another example that this is an ideal way to complete multiple missions at the same time. The robot delivers all of them to the museum target area on the field and then returns back to the right home area. Next, we hang one of the audience minifigs onto the orange ring of Noah the sound engineer, position both in between the fork and launch the robot, simply pushing them across the field to the music note target area. Hanging minifigs onto the rings is an easy way to deliver both an expert and an audience minifig at the same time. For our next launch, we still use the lift arm attachment with the fork, but this time we use it to pull a simple beam jig that we have built, with Sam the stage manager and an audience minifig on one end and on the other end an audience member. Because of the space limitation in the launch area, our robot starts with the lift arm fully raised. Only after the robot has moved forward a little, it fully lowers the arm to hook up the beam jig and eventually drags it across the mat. When the jig is just south of the light show tower, the robot lifts the arm and continues its drive to the left home area. The jig stays behind in the middle of the field. For our last launch, we made an attachment change. We replace the fork on the lift arm with a contraption that guides our extendable jig to deliver the remaining experts and audience members. The robot launches from the left launch area and navigates around the movie theater model until Emily, the visual effects director, and one of the audience minifigs are in the popcorn target area, and one of the audience minifigs is on the theater masks target area. The robot then jiggles back and forth to release the beam extension, which is just long enough to roll Izzy the skater and one more audience minifig into the skateboard target area. Afterward, the robot raises the lift arm to let go of the jig and return to the left home area, leaving the jig on the field. For solving the audience delivery mission, teams earn 5 points for each audience member that is completely in a target destination at the end of the match. Another 5 points are awarded for each target destination that has at least one audience member completely in it, for a total of 70 possible points. For each expert that is at least partially in their respective target area at the end of the match, teams are awarded 10 points, for a total of 50 points. It is worth noting that the white base and orange loop are considered part of the experts, so if any of these pieces are above the correct target area, the points are scored. Solving missions 14 and 15 by themselves is very time-consuming and not advised. 
Combine delivering some of the experts and audience members when solving other missions. If really pressed for time, consider pushing all seven audience members, Anna the museum curator and the masterpiece art piece on the pedestal from mission 4 into the museum target area for an easy 80 points. 40 from the audience delivery, 10 from the expert delivery, and 30 from the masterpiece mission. This concludes our video series for solving the individual missions of the 2023-24 first LEGO League Challenge season called Masterpiece. Keep an eye out for our full run solution later during the season. In the meantime, we encourage you to try building your robot, attachments, and programming your own combined solutions for solving these missions. Good luck to anyone who's competing, and don't forget to have fun along the way. Thank you.